Here we go. Another quick how to video for our newcomers to uh, Factor 2. Uh, I'll bung this one up on our uh, website so people get on there they can uh, work out where they're going. We've been asking a few things about the uh, you know, setups in the cars, uh, loading other people's setups, blah blah blah. We'll go through it. So here's your launcher once you start her up. Basic things we've got home. This will show all the updates, blah blah blah. You've got a contact support button, the email. And the website. Um, this is where you open your, your packages up when you install something, like I've gone through before. Packages folder here, that's where you bung your, your non Steam content, your cars, and your tracks. You can see them here. The RFC and P files, you bung them in that folder. And then you come over here, and I usually filter by what's uh, installed and what's not installed, and then you can go bang, click on it, install, uninstall, delete, do whatever you want. So, then we've got the basic video settings, uh, running VR, HMD and mirror, so other people can see what I'm doing when I'm driving, it'll come up on my center screen. Um, and then the yeah, ultra effects, this is when I'm uh, running on the screen, but when you're running... Uh, VR, bang, 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 and that's how I run it, those settings there, so, yeah, moving on, got the uh, multiplayer as usual, all the servers, there we go, we've got a new server up today with Bathurst, with the, yeah, uh, single player, we'll hit that in a sec and get into it, uh, that's developer mode to uh, sort out in-game stuff, bugs, you can check it out if you're uh, uh, into developing. Um, this is the mass file utility for massing up and packaging together your skins, all the DDS files, and that's hosting a server, which I don't do through here, it's better doing through the uh, the DOS version. But anyway, here we are, first page you get into, um, as I've been driving before, session settings, run through this one. Uh, this is where you can set your default for your race start type, your time of day, race laps, all the biz, yeah, grid position that you start at, warm up, blah blah blah, blah we get rid of it. This is where you find your, um, where you can save your um, track setup, all the rubber on the track. Um, flag rules, air, yeah, fuel usage, tyre wear, mechanical flailers, drivers, so then you go up here and you can get scripted so you can, different times of the, uh, the race or day, you can change it all bang 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 yeah you can pick your track everybody knows it pick your car everybody knows it we've done the session settings options all your deals up here if you're on screen display user interface set all your heads up showroom look at your car replay fridge go back and have a look at your replays um, plugins and difficulty um, as you know yeah, bang AI strength 100% everything off that's the way I write the race uh, video res, this is the same as that screen I showed you before, bang, 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 um, that yeah, gives you your anti-licing, all your stuff in there, your audio, blah blah blah, set the sounds, cars, everything, uh, but get into the controls, got me Fanatec oil, can set everything, do it in there, this is very similar to what you get in game as well, so because I was running just on single or triples, you can run absolutely flat out. GDX 1070 goes all right, and that's it. Bang, bang, bang. So get into race. Bang into the game. So this is your main screen here. Garage settings, standing, standings is just all your your times. You right click on someone, you can bring up all their lap times. So right click on it again to get back to the main screen. Down here you can expand it go under the full screen in standings we've got restart weekend we've got next session and finish session usually down here there's a vote button you can uh, vote for stuff that's a thumbs up and a thumbs down that's usually when you're racing in uh, multiplayer you can also send a setup to someone so you click on someone's name you can go down to vote down the bottom here another menu will come up and then you can just vote for restart in the weekend you can send a garage set up you can do a whole heap of other stuff but that's not uh, here in uh, single player but anyway 
but uh, as I said, click through them. Bang, 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 full screen. Change camera angles, insert home, page up, page down, end and delete, all that sort of stuff. On one view, you can spin the car around, check it out, zoom in and out. And that's with your number pad when you're on the uh, one of the settings. So, uh, as I said before, your real road, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not going to save it as that, but that's how you save your uh, rubber on the road, on a track. So in the previous screen I showed you, you can load it up. You can add AI drivers the, with the cars there. So that's it, that's standings. Uh, mainly going to settings, display, controls, audio, difficulty. See, this is all the same as what you had in that screen I showed you before. You can set it, you can set it in game, out of game difficulty the only one you can't set in here is the uh, AI aggression strength and multiplier restart to take effect there it is so going back to it display all there main one now is is let's go to garage so when you're in the garage on each track funnily enough you got notes here you can make notes and save it for the Bathurst track, so if you've said something, you know, blah blah blah, whatever notes you want to make, more blah blah blah. But uh, yeah, now saying it, obviously, main thing is is uh, want to load a setup. There's a button down here for starters, vehicle or all. You can see here as soon as I clicked over to all, brings up all my all my settings for the cars that I've ever raced here lately. So yeah. Utes. Uh, so that's pretty basic. So I haven't got a setup for this car. So you can go vehicle, it'll all disappear. I haven't done one. This is in the Aston Martin. So now, trick is you want to load a setup into your car that you're currently running at this track. So you're at Bathurst, you can see the asterisk against it. So let's go down to the R uh, received folder. There it is. I haven't deleted mine. 47 of them in there. I've got nothing for the Austin in here, but let's go like this. The mate Trumo, he's giving me messages. Anyway, uh, as my mate is throwing a few setups, everybody else is throwing a few setups. Uh, I'm just going to go and grab one to say, I'll let you know too that see how I've got Drumo up to 24, which is the highest. So if somebody sent you a couple of setups, the latest setup will always be the highest number. Okay? So what we're going to do is, just for shits and giggles, it won't work in this car, but what we'll do is, is we'll pick a setup out of the receive folder, and we'll load it. You can see here, current, out of the receive folder, Drumo 24, what I've just loaded. So now we'll just go back to Bathurst. Bathurst, there it is, click. And we can go here, now we're back in Bathurst, what you want to do is, is with that current setup, you want to save it. It'll come up, Drumo 24. This is where you save it. I'm just going to label it shit setup because I'm not going to use it. Except. So, about the shit setup. So, that's your current setup. So, now you've got that running. You can actually go back to vehicle. So, now we we'll go back to a specific vehicle, me, uh, Austin Martin. There it is. Click on it. We'll get, and it's already loaded, but so once it's highlighted, click on a sign, and it'll sign it to your default setup. So whenever you get jump in this car, it's gonna load that setup straight away. Bang, there it is. Yeah, you can compare setups. Once you've got a setup going, you can have a look, load another setup, and if we go compare it's loaded two setups so you can load one in pick another one click compare two setups will come up as you can see here one that will be grayed out and one that's highlighted obviously the one you've got you're working on so there we go two setups all the way through so I'm not going to go into all these setups because that's just uh, out of control just uh, wanted to run through the basics of, of R factor how to get your all the stuff going, how to get your um, receive setups in there and that's it so hopefully that helps with uh, people finding their, their setups, getting things going it's all pretty straightforward and yeah, that's it
So anyway, I hope you like it. I hope that helps out. A couple of quick settings help you get through, navigate through our uh, factor two. Anyway, I'm out. I'll catch you later. See ya.